we'll start with the, not negative, but what do you think is the number one challenge for retailers in the next five to 10 years? We'll start with you, Dave. Uh, I mean, retail changes so quickly. It, it's just keeping up with what your competitor is doing. I, I, I think it's agility. I think it's consumer confidence. I think it's innovation. I think it's hard work. Um, and I think it's uh, partnerships. Um, I would honestly have to say for the brick and mortars, there's, I think online is, is starting to have a big impact. Um, and it's funny because ironically, a lot of the brick and mortar stores are doing it to themselves. Um, I find myself like perplexed when I walk into a store. Instead of having a sign greet me that says, you know, we've got this special on sale, we've got these new sweaters or something that's going to entice me to stay in their store, the first thing I'm looking at is, um, visit us online. So you know you walk through the door, and if that's your first impression, yeah. you're kind of saying to yourself, "Well, should I even be here? Should, do you not want me in your store?" Um, and I and I think a lot of I mean, you're still going to have people that love to shop. They love to hand handle things, try things on, and that type of thing. But you know, the online, unfortunately, I think is you know it, it keeps growing each year. Um, do I think it's going to ruin the stores? No, but I think it's going to put a dent into the overall. Mary Kay, you're Yes, yours. I know, I was going to say. Okay. So, number one challenge, um, uh, besides parking, <laughs> yeah. uh, I really do think because of the, um, the volatile and wonderful, ever-changing um, retail market, I do think um, having um, support from not only municipalities, but chambers and other groups, <coughs> just really knowing um, just what it is we're up against it, um, to get a customer in the door, and also to make sure that the whole experience of the location is positive. You know, if you get three or four negatives before you even got into the door, and then we've got you know, you know, a tired customer that doesn't have the whatever he needs or she needs. Um, I think that it's really recognizing that we have to have a lot of those things in concert before um, we can even make a buck. So I'm really finding that locally. So that's that's what I think is a big challenge. Um, but it, it's it's good. So opportunity. You know, what do we get to look forward to in the next five years? Ten. I think um, the exciting new retail concepts because yeah, I, it yeah, just yeah, is, absolutely. you know, just new things come out all the time, mm -hmm. and um, you just wait for what's going to be next. I think it's an interesting time in the product life cycle of retail in general, and I think what's exciting about it is I think first of all this room and, and the National Retail Federation and ICSC and the camaraderie and, and the ability to participate in something like this. Mm -hmm. to say, you know, mm, but I'm hearing it. So um, I think the next five years, I, I'm trying to look a little bit farther because I think retail is as old as, you know, Ephesus Turkey. Um, but I think the fact that we're changing, that we're adapting, that we're thinking, you know, we're not, we're not impulsive, we're more strategic, I guess. Mm -hmm. Those are good things, and I think that's what you're going to see out of it. But I love the innovation of human resources and resources and combining them all together in the perfect mix, and it's that's what's that's thrilling, thrilling. Um, I tend to agree that I think you know the ever evolving changes in retail, um, but I do think on top of that is making it more of um, realizing it's more of an experience, not just oh, like a good way sweater. You know, let's try to make it, bring it to the next level. Let's, you know, and add more, you know, hopefully more social aspect to it. Um, so I think it, it'll be exciting with all the new ideas, like you know, sea bags. I, I always loved bags. I have banners. I love even in bags. I have banners. Um, <laughs> so I think that it, it's just there's a an energy in retail now with new creative concepts. Um, you know, it, like everything, some of them will survive, and some of them will get to that 10 or 15 year mark. And it'll be exciting to see those new developments, you know, grow from this point to get to that. Yeah. And I, I agree. I have to say the opportunity, I think, for all of us is really um, just making the experience fun again. You know, just really um, having fun. You know, why are we doing it anyway? And I think it, we all have our own unique brand and um, experience in our stores. And, and it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, so that's what I think the opportunity is. And finally, go in one word, forecast for retail, May. Positive, yeah. Optimism. Sunny. I was just going to say it. <laughs> so, I had to go to sunny, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you.